Hey guys, it's Erica and I'm going to be trying something new today. So as you can see here, I have my beautiful spineless cactus, which I love so much. It's really tall. Oh, oh wow. It's, <laughs> you really can't see it. <laughs> Let me put it back. Yeah, it's very tall. It's 36 inches to be exact. <laughs> I actually measured it because I want to chop it. I have never, like, I don't really know much about cacti. Um, I've never propagated a cactus. So I was looking up how to propagate one of these babies on YouTube and there were no videos specific to this plant. Um, but I did find this one video that I thought was helpful and I'll link it down below because I'm going to be following everything he did. So the reason that I want to propagate it is because you can see like right here, it gets smaller and I just, it bothers me. <laughs> it bothers me that it does that. So I want to chop it off right here. And in the video that I watched that I'm linking down below, the guy said that it's helpful for the cactus when you propagate it when it goes goes in like that because soon it's going to get top heavy and it's going to break off anyways and that's how they kind of propagate themselves in the wild which is so cool. So we're just going to speed that process along right now and I'm going to cut it. Um, I'm actually so excited because it really bothers me that it just gets skinny right there. And I think that's probably like when I brought it home, like this is, <laughs> this is how much it's grown since I bought it. And I have a video where I bought it. I'll probably link that too. Um, so you could see how big it was, but um, yeah, we gotta chop it. We gotta chop it down. I really like how they look when they're like thick, like how the bottom part is really thick and I want a baby version of this that I can keep. Um, I don't want to say keep in my house because I don't have enough sunlight to keep this in my house. This one right here I keep outside and it gets kind of a lot of direct sunlight throughout the day. So I wouldn't want to put it in my house and have it go through that. Um, I was thinking of doing two pieces. I don't know, but I'm definitely going to chop like right here. Like you could probably see that's where it goes in. So this is a clean, <laughs> this is a clean kitchen knife. In the video, the guy used shears, but his cactus that he propagated, I think was skinnier than this one. I actually don't know if it was. And I don't know if a sawing motion is okay. So as I got up to cut the cactus, I noticed that there was a lot of scarring on the backside that you could see right here. And I decided to just cut below that scarring to just get rid of it entirely. Okay, so I cut it and it actually smells really weird. I don't really like the smell, but I decided to cut it lower down than at this area because this is where I originally wanted to cut it because this is where it goes in. But I decided to do it lower down and I did not cut it straight at all. Like it's very slanted. I'm really not good at cutting straight, like my watermelons always come out weird. So I think I'm going to chop this again right here and like right here actually. So then my plant, my new plant can be like this and then this part I will root by laying it down because this part looks very wonky. It has a lot of scarring on it. So I'm going to chop this on the table actually, that would be easier. So there we go. I was not planning on getting two cuttings out of this. I would like, like I said, this part I was planning to leave on here, but I think it's for the best to get this little ugly piece <laughs> off. And so the way the guy did it is the top cuttings he would let stand up to root and then the center cuttings he would let root laying down because they would grow like a new little cactus over here. Also, for the base of the cactus, he would cut it pretty low because he said new cacti would pop up. I don't know if they like, if he meant they pop up on the sides, like a rhizome type of a thing. We'll just have to see. And he said to let these callus over. So I'm going to have to wait overnight and then 
put them in soil in the morning, which <laughs> I just barely watched the video before filming this because I have been wanting to propagate this thing for a while now. But um, I already made my soil mix. And this is like one third of my soil mix that I make and then two thirds of a cactus mix. I will have the exact brand up on the screen because I don't remember what it's called right now. Um, and the reason why I added the cactus mix is because I don't have any sand. That's what I got here. And I'm also planning on putting it in this pot, which is, I feel like it's kind of big. So, um, yeah, I'm just going to have to wait till tomorrow to finish this video up. Hopefully it will callus over by then. I'm not really sure. If you don't know what a callus is, it's pretty much just when this, when this cut heals over, it's kind of like a scab for plants so yeah we're gonna let this callus and hopefully it will be about we'll, and hopefully it will be done by tomorrow morning because i would love to get these ready to be propagated so i will see you guys in just a little bit and we're back except it's three days later the morning it was not calloused over yet um it's callous now though so this is what the callus looks like Both sides of this one. I probably could have done it yesterday, but I just decided to wait one more day just in case it needed a little bit of extra callusing. The guy in the video didn't really say how long to let it callus for, so I think we're good with three days. And oh, this is <laughs> this is how the top is looking. It looks so ugly. I don't know if I should cut this down. Or what to do with it because this is the prettiest part of the plant of the cactus so kind of want to keep it but I don't think this like actually this is definitely not gonna form a new like top so I don't know if I should cut it down I feel like that's what I'm gonna have to end up doing because that's what that's what the guy did in his video like I said I have my mix of a third my mix and then the rest two-thirds of the cactus mix that I'm have the little title of. I'm just going to move this over here because I am right-handed. Okay, so all of this is just pure soil and then I'm going to stick it in. So it's going to be like this deep. Oh, wrong one. That one's really tall. I'm just going <laughs> to stick this in like that. Oh my god, it's so cute. I kind of want it up higher. It's okay. It'll grow. It'll grow up. So that's fine. And when the guy did it, he had the top part of his soil moist because he said not to water this plant. So I'm just going to spray down this soil and get it a little bit moist, like a little bit, just a tiny bit because we're not trying to go crazy here. Okay. And I'm just going to mix it up. I don't know if you can tell, but the soil is a little bit damp. Put this little guy in, just like that. We don't want him tipping over. And I'm gonna kind of pack the soil a little bit because I don't want it falling over. Oh my gosh! He is such a little cutie pie. I love it. This looks so, so good. Okay, so this one is done. But this one I'm literally just going to lay down. So um, I actually need to get the tray that I'm using for that. So I will be back in just a minute. All right, so here's the container where I'm keeping this um wonky piece and we're gonna lay it down i don't think you need to bury it or anything you just lay it down and then that causes a plant to grow out of the top end so i'll put a little extra space on the top end for a little plant to grow and i think once roots start coming out of the like where the spines are supposed to be then i can cut it again and then hopefully get more plants out of it but do not quote me do not quote me. So yeah, I'm not planning on watering this. We're gonna see how it does, but I'm so excited. 
I need to have such a cute little bebe. I just wish it was fatter. I really like how they like short and chubby ones look so much. They're so cute. There we have it. I now have three plants. One of them is not looking too hot and it'll, I don't know. Let me know in the comments if you think I should chop it all the way down and then maybe I guess lay it down next to this one and I don't know, maybe that'll make it look better, but thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and I will see you in the next one. And when I do the update for this, I will link it to this video. Who knows? Who knows when the roots will sprout? <laughs> okay, bye!